is the worst thing they could do to a holy ministry. You're obeying God, you're trying your best to please Him, you're reaching so many souls, and then suddenly, like this, you know, they just try to take it away from you with slander and defamation of character. They make so many videos. After over a year, it's gonna be good getting back exposing Naftali again. I'm a very hard-working fighter for the Kingdom of Heaven. I'm probably one of the hardest-working fighters of my generation. Can't afford to rest. Rest when I get to Heaven, man. Now it's time to work. Except on the sack. <laughs> Little Mac, once again the best. Hey, what's up, buddy? Yo, Doc. What do you think about my chance against Pastor George C? We're going to be saying sayonara to him. That's Japanese for goodbye. A comeback is like a yo-yo. You're going to go down, but you're coming right back up. And then you may end up walking the dog. Okay, so work it, work it. This is Yah Servant 777 representing Almighty Wind Ministry. You can find us at AlmightyWind.com and AlmightyWind.com. I am one of the many youth ministers of Almighty Wind Ministry, and I would like to say, especially to those that are not familiar with this ministry, that this ministry is an evangelical outreach to both Jew and Gentile, preaching the gospel of Yahushua HaMashiach, which is the true Hebrew name of Jesus Christ in 25 different languages. And we bring out the prophetic words, the blessed prophecies, dreams, revelations, visions, secrets that were given straight from heaven to Prophet Elizabeth Elijah for the sake of this end time generation. And we do that in 25 different languages also. All these prophecies are like a big finger pointing in the direction of Calvary's cross. Repentance of sin, putting faith in Yahushua, and walking in a loving, obedient relationship with Him in holiness, keeping His Ten Commandments. That's all this ministry is about. As I am representing this ministry again in this video, I am battling lies by presenting the truth. And I do this for the glory of my Savior, Yahushua, Jesus Christ, trying to prove that I love Him. And I try to do this on a daily basis in some kind of way. And I believe that by reproving evil, rebuking evil, exposing evil, and presenting to people the truth, that this is one of the ways that we show our Savior that we truly do love Him and follow Him and we are obedient to that commandment that is in the Bible to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but to rather reprove them. And I'm calling upon you, the viewer, to be obedient to that very same commandment also. Especially if you consider yourself to be Christian and pro proclaim yourself to be a born-again believer and follower of Jesus Christ. If you get a witness to the things that I'm about to present to you in this video as being truth, then please don't just sit there and do nothing, but help me get these truths out. Help this ministry get the truths out to reach an oftentimes lukewarm and an oftentimes ignorant Christian community with the truth. And why do I say ignorant? It is because most are ignorant concerning the deceptions that are going on within this community as Satan's devices are planted within this community and are covered up by Christianity falsely so called. I'm talking about false ministers. As the Bible predicted, there would be false ministers masquerading as ministers of righteousness, just like the devil transforms himself into an angel of light. 
people that are preaching Jesus, Jesus is coming, get ready, and they quote for the Bible left and right, yet the Jesus they are talking about is not the Jesus of the Holy Bible, and the scriptures they are quoting, they quote it out of its context, and they apply it in ways God never meant it to be applied. And such false ministers are within this very community to target genuine ministries and to target genuine ministers for character assassination. Using the very word of God in a twisted manner as a Bible, as, as a weapon against such ministries and to recruit other people to partake in such wars also. Now one of the people that is doing this at this time is Neftali 1981. Now this occult giant and the occult aspect of what he is doing in, within this community is going to be explained further in a future video. This man is targeting this ministry and has targeted this ministry for more than two years. He has been an enemy of Almighty Wind Ministry and myself for more than two years. He instigated a war against this ministry through slander, libel, and defamation of character. He made lying videos purposely misrepresenting what this ministry teaches and using the Bible in a twisted manner as a weapon against this ministry to quote unquote expose us for false doctrine. He labels us a hate cult and the icing on the cake is that he calls this ministry that is reaching souls in 25 languages with the gospel of Jesus Christ rat poison. I'm not kidding. This ministry is named after all the Holy Trinity, specifically the Holy Spirit. Read the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 2. He's daring to call this ministry rat poison. Now, Naphtali 1981 is one of the main people who helped promote and build a website that was devised to assassinate the character of my very pastor, Elizabeth Elijah. Prophet Elizabeth Elijah. Together with people like Pastor George C., Naphtali devised that website and he mockingly called it two years ago AmightyWind.org. And that website was devised for slander and character assassination, like I just mentioned. And what they did is they posted slanderous lies and gossip and false testimonies from false witnesses on that website. And they went as far as accusing my pastor and my mom, Elizabeth Elijah, of crimes she has never committed in her life. And in this manner, they wanted to kill this ministry and chase God's people away from this ministry. So they wouldn't be blessed, neither even listen to the messages that God gives this generation through Prophet Elizabeth Elijah. It was all about character assassination. Now I would have you know that Naphtali is twisting all this and he wants to deny and hide all this. He wants to act as if his war with the mighty wind is based on theological issues and differences of doctrine and that we attacked him. But this video is about to expose him that he reverses the truth. He continuously reverses the truth. This is not about merely disagreeing. This is about so much more. And I'm going to go more into this as this video progresses. Now getting back to that slanderous website that they put up, Naphtali has never repented of partaking in this stuff. He is proud of that, and at the time he made a promotional video. to lead as many people as possible to that website and he mockingly howled like a werewolf. Not only glorifying the occult, but mocking the emotional agony and tear shit that they were putting my mom Elizabeth Elijah through with what, with, with what they were doing. Now I ask you, please keep all this in mind as this video progresses. Now Naphtali, although one of the main people who instigated and promoted this war that they are still waging against the Mighty Wind Ministry. He's right now playing the victim. He's acting as if he has been the one attacked and endangered and threatened and slandered by a Mighty Wind Ministry and Prophet Elizabeth Elijah. He says he disagrees. He merely disagreed with Elizabeth's doctrines and he got attacked and slandered in return. And he says this is proof that the Jezebel spirit is at work through a Mighty Wind Ministry. And be careful, 
those that jump on his bandwagon, you are in danger. You are risking blasphemy of the Holy Spirit if you believe this man and if you repeat his lies. Because he is manipulating an ignorant crowd through these lies. And I say ignorant because the people that watch his videos, most of the people, I dare say, they probably do not know that he instigated a war against the mighty wind, and it was through slander and bald-faced lies to defame a pastor's character. And he has never repented of this stuff. And how can he? Because he is here for such purposes, because he is a satanic infiltrator, identifying himself as a Freemason. But I will go into more of this as this video progresses and in a future video that will be coming up. But you may not know this, but Naphtali is the very last one who should dare point a finger at anybody calling them a false prophet or calling them out for false doctrine. Because I got to prove in screenshots that this man believes and teaches and advises that a woman is not allowed to divorce her spouse even if it turned out to be the Antichrist. Like I said, I got the proof in screenshots and as this video progresses I will show you these screenshots. He's the very last one, this hypocrite and this deceiver, that should dare to point a finger at any ministry or minister calling them out for false doctrine. Now back to business. Naphtali 1981, being linked to Pastor George C and a network of Satanists masquerading as Christians on YouTube that are present for the purpose of trying to sabotage genuine ministries of God. And I keep repeating this over and over again so that you, the viewer, may understand the reality and the seriousness of what is happening within this Christian community for you to be warned. But this same Neftali, who has his connections, has been ordered again lately to attack a mighty wind ministry and defame my pastor Elizabeth Elijah and the reason for that is he was trying to get the heat off of Pastor George C. George's involvement in a scam, in another scam, has been exposed in one of my latest videos that George's henchmen and women flagged down no less than three times to try to censor me and prevent the truth from getting out. Now before I continue about all this, I want to show you a comment that Naphtali left on one of Pastor George video, Pastor George C's videos a short time before he started attacking a mighty wind ministry again. Now let's look at the comment together. This is Naphtali 1981 and he says, I more than 100% agree. I have been out of this whole AMW, with which he means a mighty wind, for a long time now on purpose because of personal convictions. Now I want you to keep this in mind, especially this first sentence of his comments. But I'm going to read the entire comment to you and I'm going to explain to you why he wrote the rest of the comment. He continues and he says, I got a video shared to me about that he is gay. That is 10,000% wrong. He is a guy who has a wife and possibly kids and to do that to him is wrong, especially for disciples of Christ. Anyhow, God bless PG and all and I hope you all are okay. God bless bro, Telly. Now for those of you that have no clue what Neftelli 1981 is talking about, in the first part of the message he says he got out of attacking a mighty wind, this whole a mighty wind issue, because of personal convictions. And I ask you to please keep this in mind as we continue with this video, that he said that, okay? Secondly, he's talking about me. He is quote unquote defending me in this comment. And he left this comment on a video that George made that he entitled in support of Yah Servant 777, Stop This Slander. And the reason George made that video and the reason Tally left that comment is because enemies of a mighty wind had taken advantage of a YouTube glitch to impersonate me and defame me and put me out as gay. And Tally and George took advantage of this opportunity in which I got attacked severely to try to get on my emotions and pose as good willing ministers of God. But it was another pathetic and failed attempt of trying to recruit me against the mighty wind. Because that whole video George made was nothing but a mockery. As he said in the video, stop this slander against Yah Servant 777. 
Instead of slandering Sylvester, Babel Almighty went on theological issues and their strange doctrine. Isn't there enough already you can mock him with? Now some good willing, so-called pastor, right? But what he doesn't tell you is that the people that were slandering me and calling me gay were recruited by him, are linked together with him, and work together with him to try to destroy a mighty wind ministry and try to assassinate my pastor Elizabeth Elijah's character. This whole video and the comment section was a mockery and nothing but a slap in the face as George tried to use this situation in which I was being harassed to get on my emotions, to try to snatch my heart away from a mighty wind and set me up against my own pastor. To try to pose as if he never had really been an enemy of mine, but that he just wanted the best for Yah's servant 777, and that is to come out of a mighty wind. George, you're stupid. Now just to show you the reality that the most ungodly individuals that defamed, trolled, harassed and impersonated me are the best of buddies with George. They are continuously hanging out together, entertaining one another through ungodliness and mockeries, as George here for example makes a fool out of himself, and here they are in the comment section egging him on, just to show you that I'm not making this stuff up. All those that defamed me, like these men, are buddies of George and work together with him against this ministry. And as you can see, Neftali is just perfectly playing along with the ungodliness, he's just part of the gang here. And then in the very next video that George made, he viciously slandered and attacked my mom Elizabeth Elijah again and attacked his entire ministry including myself again, as he dared to call his video is a mighty wind preparing a new holocaust. As he said that Elizabeth and the mighty wind are like Hitler and the Nazis. And he took some of her comments and ripped them out of their context to defame her fabricating horrific lies and propaganda that have been exposed in our brother Abel Walter Walker's video entitled The Holocaust Mocked by Pastor George C. Please watch this video as Abel Walter Walker reveals how George mocks the Holocaust and the Jewish people to slander a mighty wind for propaganda that went as far as telling the people we don't see them as human and want them dead and they had better get familiar with our faces and report us to the local police if they ran into us. Like I said, watch our brother's video to see the serpent exposed again for the murderous, brutish pastor of wolves he is as he is again endangering our very lives with his slanderous propaganda against a mighty wind ministry. Now please keep this in mind as this video progresses. George's group, including Neftali, endanger our lives it is not the other way around. And this has been this way since the beginning of this war that they instigated to try to chase us out for YouTube as we are a threat to their new age agenda they are carrying out. Now to get back to Naftali and the comment that he wrote. Now he says because of his own personal convictions he hasn't come against the Mighty Wind Ministry anymore for a long time. And it's very interesting because I have seen, write sim I've seen him write similar comments all over the place, in many places for a long period of time, that he stopped coming against the Mighty Wind Ministry because supposedly God gave him such convictions to no longer do that. And then suddenly after he leaves all those kind of comments uh, all over the place, he just starts lashing out at the Mighty Wind Ministry attacking Elizabeth Elijah again. That's very interesting. What is it, Neftali? What are those convictions? Where did they go? Because if you... How serious can you take this man? Because if you see what he writes and then his actions, you see nothing lines up. Just by this comment, this comment itself shows you that Neftali is full of gobbledygook. This is not a man of his word, okay? Next to that, how many times have all these guys whether it's Tally, whether it's George, and all the guys they are linked to said that supposedly God gave them the conviction to stop tangling with the mighty wind, to stop this war, and no longer get involved with the drama. They have been saying that for two years, that God told them to stop. After waging a great war and saving so many people from the grip of a mighty wind, they say, God has told them to stop and preach the gospel. After two years, more than two years, 
two and a half years I should say, everything they do is still to indirectly or directly attack a mighty wind ministry. So what is it? And let me ask you, if they are supposedly serving the God of the Holy Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they say that God has told them to stop, can they just disobey the God of the Holy Bible like that? Something to think about, huh? Now, Naphtali, no matter what he may say or do, or the videos he's putting out, or the comments he's writing specifically on YouTube, you will always see that this man's words and his actions don't line up. They just don't match up. And he's not a man of his word. And the reason for this is because Naphtali is a deceiver. He is sent by Satan and recruited to sow doubt and to sow confusion and to program you into rejecting genuine ministries that carry the genuine anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. Naphtali is being ordered to do the things that he does. He has no choice. His latest attack against the Mighty Wind Ministry, he did it to get the heat off of Pastor George C. after he got himself into trouble again and then was exposed again. And I would like to mention, since Naphtali is one of the main people who has promoted and built the slander campaigns against the Mighty Wind Ministry and instigated this war, he has been under God's judgment since. Under severe judgment and it's only getting worse for him. This is why he's so bitter against the Mighty Wind Ministry. Ever since he, he has come against his ministry, a tornado wrecked up his household. He has been ill and been taken into the hospital over and over and over again. And just last year, his biological brother died. In other words, God's judgment is upon this man and his household and his family for his transgressions and wickedness. And God is warning him. Thus, like the Bible says, touch not my anointed, neither do my prophets any harm. And as you can see by Naphtali's latest activities, he's not listening. He just continues like a rebel against God. He continues to harm this ministry and Prophet Elizabeth Elijah, daring to call the Holy Spirit in this ministry a Jezebel spirit. He knows he's under God's judgment. But now he's blaming a mighty wind. He says, oh, a mighty wind and Elizabeth, they want me dead. They're cursing me. No, Naphtali, it is called the judgment of an almighty Yahweh God for your transgressions against him. Read the Bible, Deut Deuteronomy 28, for the disobedient, the curses of God. God has never changed. And worse things are coming to you, Naphtali, because God himself is avenging himself on you for your transgressions and your rebellion against him. Now my purpose in this video is to step by step reveal how Naphtali again in his latest video, or one of his latest videos against the Mighty Wind Ministry, slanders, lies, misrepresents what we teach and believe, and twists the Word of God to use it as a weapon against us to create more lies and to have the people foolishly repeat those same lies after him. We will show you how he is manipulating his viewers to repeat the blasphemous lie after him that the Holy Spirit in the Mighty Wind Ministry is a Jezebel spirit, pushing them to damn their own souls. And all of you had better be warned if, if you are watching this guy's garbage, because you are in danger of blaspheming the Holy Spirit if you dare to allow this man's lies to penetrate your soul. We will show you how it is ridiculous and has no foundation whatsoever to uh, accuse the Spirit in this ministry of being Jezebel. It is utter blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. I will not only show you that, but I will show you how Naphtali continuously, bitterly brings up my videos that were once done against him that exposes mind control techniques, his use of occult symbolism with which he identifies himself as a Freemason, as he's playing around with hardcore Satanism and witchcraft in his videos. And he's coming up with some very poor excuses to weasel his way out of that one. So, this is it. This is going to be my response to one of his latest videos.